in the ball game at this particular time. Georgia has 190 total yards, 128 on the ground. They have passed for 72 yards. Clemson has 240 yards. They've thrown for 103. They have run for 137. Again, those totals, 240 Clemson, Georgia with 190. That is total yardage. Goody scoreboard. Halftime, Old Miss 7, Louisiana Tech nothing. Final score, Kentucky over Tulane, 30 to 26. And Oklahoma State beat San Diego State 19 to 16 on the Goody scoreboard. First play, fourth quarter. Clemson eats two and a half inches on third down. The ball just across the 50. The quarterback sneaks for the first down. Epley leaned at left guard and got at least a yard or a yard and a half. Depth may tell here in the heat, but let's see. Clemson's given us some opportunities today. Second time today, Kirby Stewart. We made him a down lineman due to a drastic shortage of down linemen back in the spring. He just came in for the second time today in the defensive line to give Henry Harris some rest. Kirby put on some weight last winter. Big, strong kid, formerly a linebacker. First down, Clemson on the Georgia 49. Epley looking. Epley fakes a pitch. He bootlegs out to the left and then throws a little pass and a run complete on the 40 to that big tight end Dunn who got a block and went down the sideline around the 30 before we could knock him out. Good play. Epley faked and then bootleg left and threw it to Big Dunn, a 7-8 yarder over the line. And they went all the way down to the 30 with it. And here's Clemson knocking on the door again. 20 to 20 tie, but Clemson has come all the way down the field. Uh, Dunn is so tough. That's his third reception today. And he's got that great height. And then uh, he's so deceiving to be so fast and that big. 6-3 and... List of 220. They're on the Georgia 30. Clemson trying to break the tie. They run a draw, and coming outside is Flowers, a fullback. Only got two and a half. And young Kirby Stewart was one of the first men that hit him. And the linebacker trying to help, and there 86 uh, Stewart hit him. Bill Mitchell was there. Ball on the 28. The game was two, second and eight. Lovelace was in at a tackle, so was Kirby Stewart to rest our tackles, and now we change it. Clemson, second down. They're just outside the dogs, 28. Turnovers have been big today. 20-20, Epley makes a long count by hollering at everybody. Now he's back to throw, and he rifles down the middle, and it's intercepted by Black on the 6. Black to the 9, to the 10. Gets a block to the 15, to the 20, up to the 23-24. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Flag down back on the 6 or 7. We got a trip back there. We got a clip. What do we got? Black intercepted wide open away from any possible receiver. And then after the play went on, a second or two off to the right side. Georgia may take a bad penalty here and be in a hole, but I'm guessing now. Let's wait and see. We got a clipping penalty on Georgia. And instead of lining up out around the 22 or 23, we may be way back on the one or two yard. Well, there we got another penalty, too, it looks like, back uh, further downfield. If I'm not mistaken, the official's picking up the flag, and now they're marking it all the way down inside the five. Finally on the dogs, right after the interception, we had a clip. I believe it was on one of our defensive backs or linebackers. Ball on the three. Now we're really in a hole. Now, now you don't want to make a mistake here at all because you could lose a whole afternoon. 20-20 tie. I know what you were thinking. You didn't think we were in the afternoon anyway when we got to the half. Ball on the three. Holy smokes, we're 97 yards away from it. Cassius Osborne splits to the left. Clemson's in the 5-2. And Todd William bootlegs out to the five. And they're going to hit him right there. He started out wide open but didn't have the speed to get around the corner. And Danforth, a strong safety, came flying up and hit him. Boy, for a moment when he started out, he was pretty well open. Lauren... Larry, on the penalty a moment ago, they were calling uh, one of the Georgia defensive backs for blocking below the waist. Uh, I'm not sure who it was, and I think in a situation like that, the uh, other team gets a choice of the penalties. So that's why Georgia was penalized back to the three. The gain was about a yard and a half. It's barely over the five. Second down, and Todd's going to pitch it out. Driving comes Cleveland Gary with a block off the tackle to maybe the seven or so. We're trying to get it out away from that goal line. We put a little power on our left side, and Gary came out. Big Strozier was one of them trying to lead him, and Peter Anderson, the guard, was another one. And we got three up to about the eight. Walls, the linebacker, hit him. Georgia now is third down on the eight, and we got six to go. 
third down and about six or a shade less than six. Todd Williams rolling to the right, looking, and he's got a man open. He's a long pass. Oh, he missed it on the 43, and he was wide open. It led him about a foot and a half too much down that side, wide open, five yards away from any defender for a cinch bomb touchdown. It looked like Cassius Osborne going down that side. Wide open and possibly overthrew it a little bit. Was he open? That hasn't worked all day. He had at least five yards, maybe six or seven, Larry, on the oh. defensive back. Well, they set the play up beautifully. The whole stadium would have fallen down. Now we got to kick it out of the hole. Chip Andrews in the standing in the end zone. Clemson rushes only one man. Andrews gets a good long high punt, long, long punt, all the way back to the Clemson 33, and they'll knock him down right there. Andrews got a great foot into it. 58 yards. McCluskey hit him, and Kenny Driscoll hit him. Pull back in a cornerback or a linebacker. Driscoll plays both. Clemson's down at 33, and we're tied 20 to 20. You wouldn't have believed that long pass and how close it was. And now Osborne desperately tried to run under it and then dive and stretch his body up. Clemson on the 33. Remember, they were almost in this spot late in the second quarter when they struck two big plays on us. They shift and they flop around and they go back into an eye and Epley fakes it and comes out with the option and he pitches it out to his tailback who's at the 36, 37, 38 and out of bounds. Flagler trying to come out. Sanchez had to come up and knock him out. He had to do it. They got around the linebacker. Clemson on the play got six yards close to the 39. Second down four and a half. 20-20 tie. Dogs really made a comeback in the third quarter. Just as they did starting late in the first quarter and in the early minutes of the second. Clemson now, slot right, one man to the left, and Ipley dropping back to throw. Fires over the middle, deflected, intercepted on the 47. Black got it, it was batted in the air. Intended for Butler, the split end, and the Dogs have got the ball on the deflected interception. Charges got the ball on their own 47. You got 12-0-2 to play. 20 to 20 tie. It deflected and went downfield eight or nine yards. The stadium is just absolutely crazy. Can you imagine having to play a game this big in a stadium so tiny? You can't make stadiums big enough when it's strictly major college. John Jackson the tail. Pulpit is the pull. George's on their own, just shy of the 47. Clemson's in a 4-4. Todd Williams rolling right. He dumps a pass out to Tron, complete for five. For 10, one man hit him with a good tackle up around the Clemson 48. And that's Kenny Danforth for strong safety. We threw a little running pass to Tron Jackson, the tailback out in front of him. He got six yards. Ball is close to the Clemson 47, 20 to 20. And in a ball game like this, Larry, also such a surprise that interceptions have been the key factor thus far. We've had yeah. eight interceptions in the ball game. George is sitting a couple of inches outside of Clemson 47. Clemson in a five lane in motion. And when there comes a pitch outside a little Tron and they run him out around the 43. But it might be a first down. We went to the short side and pitched a little Tron Jackson, a South Carolina native. Williams a linebacker, Tyrone Davis a cornerback, ran him out. But the play was good enough. They came up with about four and a half yards, and it'll be a first down just outside the 42. He got really got five. Dogs sitting on a hash marks over in front of the Clemson bench, just outside the Clemson 42, about a foot or so. The clock says 11-18, and the scoreboard in a stunning shock is 20 to 20. Todd Williams got him in an eye with two men out, and he's going to pitch it. And they are now going to try to run Tron outside again. 45, 43, somebody hit him helmet to helmet and ran him out and knocked him down on the far side of the field. No gain. We try to run him out again on a wide sweep left, but they came up. Richardson, the strong side linebacker, came up. And on the play, they set it on the 43. We lost maybe a half a yard. It's second down and 10 and a half. And young Lars Tate is coming at the tailback. 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Ron Jackson got us one first down. He tried to get us another. We're in an eye. 
Archie short left split lane a wide split right comes in in a five and we run the tail back a momentary hole and we shot him straight up the middle of the hole close we got two and a half or so to about the 40 Michael Perry a young freshman tackle was the guy first responsible for hitting him Williams a linebacker was trying to help but Perry hit him it's third down now and about eight Osborne in and laying out of the flanker Georgia has the front nose of the football across the 40, but they need just about eight yards, seven and a half on third down, 20-20 tie. They're in an eye with a slot, and they run Cassius Osborne in motion to the right, and Todd Williams comes rolling out. He's got a man open, and it is rolled incomplete. He dove for a low pass. He missed him by throwing it into the grass in front of him around the 34 on the far side, and that hurt. And the thing about it, had he caught the ball there, he still would have been three or four yards short of the first down as he made his cut to the outside at around the 35-yard line, and then uh, he would have come up sh as short as we said as we go down to Lawrence. Well, Larry, uh, tough pass to complete like that because Clemson does a great job with the backside rush. They really have been putting pressure on Todd. It's uh, really hairy out there. Well, we're going to kick it away with the ball in the 40. Clemson stopped us. We couldn't use the turnover, and that's happened before today. And Andrews now trying to kick a high punt and hoping it doesn't go too far, but that one's going to go too far. It's in the end zone. Mm. Chip kicked a high, lazy spiral that landed three yards deep in the end zone. He wanted it down around the five or so. And now Clemson puts it in play on the 20. Do you realize the breaks those guys have given us and we have not been able to use them? They fumble once in their 12 and we didn't get a point on it. 20 to 20 tie, 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Fourth quarter, Clemson's 80 yards away. They drove it 60 the last time. Didn't get anything. We had a deflected interception the next time they talked to Touch the ball. We drove it only about 18 yards or so, and we got stopped. Epley going to give it to the tailback, and we crack him on the 23. Terrence Flagler, one of the rotating three tailbacks. Culpepper hit him. Calvin Ruff, the defensive end, hit him. Ball almost to the 24. Let's give him four. Second down and six. Clemson all in white. The dogs in red and the heat. The fatigue factor has got to be in there now for everybody. I mean both teams. Though well, one of them may have depth and the other one isn't supposed to have any. 9.52 on the clock running, 20-20 tie. Clemson flops the tight end around and we jump up and go into almost a six and Epley looks at that and Epley now runs the option out to the left side and Epley turns a corner for five for ten yards. Somebody misses a tackle. Fumble. He fumbled the ball. It's rolling around and rolling and rolling and rolling and it's on our 45 and roll 20 more yards. Georgia thinks they've got it. Georgia's got the ball on a funny fumble. Somebody grabbed Epley's arm as he came over on the left. He already had the first down and the ball rolled and rolled and there were men crawling on the ground after it and Georgia's got the ball on their own 45 and old lady luck has again smiled down out of the sky. It's been grinning at us. We haven't been using much of it and now we got it again. You can see him turn around and look. It came out of his arm. Somebody grabbed his arm. What a funny fumble and did it roll. And you could see players crawling after the ball yeah. that was on the ground. They were they were crawling, trying to get to it. George is on her own 45 in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. Lane in motion to the left. Todd goes to the fullback. Pope with five, ten, and they knock him down to the 43. Holy smokes, he almost got away. Pulpwood came through leaning low to the ground and got six or seven more. He should have only had five. Davis, a cornerback, had to knock him down. And they've come quickly with Pulpwood Smith down to the 43. 9.21 to go and a first down. Dogs, 20 to 20. 9.18 to go. I can't believe what I'm looking at. Lane and Archie go out on the right side. We're in an eye. Clemson's in that 5-4 playing real close. Then we run to the tailback, driving to about the 40. That's Cleveland Gary. We came outside, their left tackle on our right side, and Walls hit him. And the gain was three to the 40, second down and seven on the Clemson 40. Lauren? The final recovery, Larry, was by number 86, Calvin Ruff. Dogs on the 40. Football splitting the 40. And on the hash marks over there on that far side. 8.36 to play. 
Clemson flops their men around the defense around. We run a man in motion over to that strong side. We go to the tailback. He comes out and drives to the 35. That was Cleveland Gary. He ran right by one man who could have had him on the line. He slithered inside him, and big Gary turned around and got five to the 35. Gary was 15 carries for 59 yards now. Third down, almost two to go. They're on the Clemson 35. Big Strozier comes in for another tight end, 8.07. We have Scott Williams over Strozier and Bill O'Leary. We have three tight ends in the game trying to get blocking. We want the first down. It's 20 to 20. Students are chanting. Clemson up real tight now. They're in a seven-man line. We pitch to the tail, and he's going to get three or four yards on a first down. Somebody grabbed him from behind up high around the neck, and that was Milton, the linebacker. It'll be a first down. Gary got three big yards, three and a fraction inside of the 32. George has got a first down inside the Clemson 32, and it's 20 to 20 with 7.42 to go. Now we take Scott Williams out of there and Bill O'Leary out. We leave Strozier in. Hockaday has come in. You know, Lane back in, Hockaday out. Slot left here on the short side of the field. Clemson in a 5-2 lane in motion wide off to the right side. Todd Williams going to give it to the tail. Gary tried to slide out, and they knocked him down behind the line. He could not get to it. They stopped him there. Look at tiny little army fighting Tennessee. The goody scoreboard says 17 to 17 at the end of the third quarter. Oklahoma State 17, Baylor 17 at the half. Lars Tate has come in. We lost two yards, second and 12. We're on a 34. These guys keep giving us a ball with a break, and we really really try to pay a price and use the brakes and we haven't been able to use them. Clemson's in a 4-4. Todd calls time now. Time out here. 60-second network break on the Georgia Bulldog Network. There's nothing like the flavor of America and don't real whoppy beer. Yeah, a night in Chicago served up with the special flavor of those big city sights and sounds and the cold, crisp taste of old Milwaukee beer. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Old Milwaukee, an old Milwaukee light, tastes as great as the name. The Stroh Brewery, Detroit, Michigan. Be sure, be safe. Yes, get them since 1888. Since 1888. That's right. Getz was providing pest control service four years before Georgia played its first football game. Getz is the South's oldest pest control company. We've been solving pest problems for 96 years now. With that much experience, we can handle any termite job, and Getz termite protection is guaranteed for the life of your home. Call Getz Exterminators. Getz gets them since 1888. Todd Williams came up the line of scrimmage, did not like what he saw, which was a defense that had the secondary drop back pretty deep and immediately called a timeout. Georgia's only got one left, Larry. Mm. Second down, 12 or 12 and a half. We started on the 31 and a half. We're back in the 34. Hockaday in motion, two directions. And Todd going to pitch it. Bad pitch. And diving on the ball to save it is Lars Tate. And again, we are grinding to a halt. We're on the 35. We lost another yard. It'll now be third down and 13. And a half. Bad pitch, but Todd had pressure coming in his face as he ran the option to the corner. Pitch it behind Tate. George is sitting on the 35 on the hash marks on this side if you're thinking about something a minute from now. 6.24 to go, tied 20 to 20, and Clemson led 20 to 6 at the half. And late in the second quarter, you remember, suddenly they dominated again as they had early. Todd going to pitch it wide to Tron Jackson. He needs a block. He got him out for five. Going to get six, seven, eight, and out of bounds. Down around the 26. We had a big sweep and got Tron outside on the corner. And from the 35, I think he got seven or eight. And we might reach for three here. Keep in mind, we missed a little chip shot on the 10 early. I don't know why. The ball on the 27, we got eight yards. It's fourth down and about six to go, Lauren. Very important play, Larry. That would have been a 52-yard field goal if there had been a third down pass that went incomplete, for example. So that was a good move, putting Kevin Butler well within his range. Clemson, seven men on the line on the 27 fourth down. We're going to hold it on the 34. It's set down, and Butler sticks it up, and they look at it, and it is good! <laughs> Good 
30-second network timeout here on the Georgia Bulldog Network. There's nothing like the flavor of America and no Milwaukee beer. Canoeing the wild shotgun rapids in Idaho. The spray in your face and the cold, crisp taste of old Milwaukee beer. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Old Milwaukee, an old Milwaukee light. Brewery, Detroit, Michigan. Clemson has fumbled uh, three times in the second half that resulted in Georgia scores. Dogs lead it right now. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Georgia Bulldog Network. University of Georgia football is brought to you by Stereo Village, Citizens and Southern Banks, and Cooper Brothers Building Supplies on WSB Atlanta, AM 750. Kevin Butler kicking his third field goal of the afternoon, a 43-yarder. Earlier, he had one from 50, also one from 35, and now Butler, who just continues to make a run on the NCAA records in the Southeastern Conference and everything else in the school record, has given Georgia a big 23-20 lead. 6.03 left to go in the ballgame. A lot of time. We trailed all day. We finally got a lead, 23-20, and I'm like you, I do not believe it. Butler kicking long and high and deep in the end zone, nine yards deep where he caught the ball. Mary Williams caught it deep, and Clemson now will put it in play on the 20. They've heard us with option outside the flagger, and they have heard us to the tight end done, and once to the flanker coming across the middle on eight or nine yards, slant ins. Epley's hit one bomb on a corner, though it was only 28 yards. They got 80 yards to go, and heat and fatigue can be involved now. Let's see. Clemson on the 20. Boy, they've coughed it up. Try to set us up, and we got a field goal out of this one. Epley coming back to pass on the 10. Looking. Dumps it over the line. It's complete to the fullback on the 24. And we hit him hard, but he's got a first down. Kenny Flowers. A good call. The fullback drag pattern where the fullback blocks a half a second and then breaks over the line. First down up on the 30. Greg Waters, the defensive end, the guy that knocked him down from behind. It's first down. Clemson immediately gets 10 or 10 and a half yards. 546, a lot of time. A lot of time left. Georgia leading 23 to 20. No depth. We have nobody we can put in there to arrest anybody on the defense. Clemson up to the line. Slot right, a receiver wide left, and only one running back. And Epley goes on a draw to Flowers, who comes outside. He stiff arms a man. We chase him and knock him down to the 31. And he only got a yard. Do we have a penalty anywhere? Henry Harris is one of the men pointing. Mitchell, the linebacker, came up. And John Little, a rover, came up. There's a possibility we got a penalty here. Boy, this stadium is really in this ballgame. Clemson has retreated, expecting a penalty. And let's see how much they're going to give him. It looks like we are going to have 10 yards, so it could be holding all the way back to the 20. Illegal use of hands on offense. Clemson now becomes first and 20 back on their 20. And young Kirby Stewart runs in there to spell somebody in the defensive line. And we take Kenny Sims out for a couple of plays. And Clemson walks up to the line of scrimmage with 5.20, 5.19 to go, and they trail 23 to 20. And Epley's coming back with the left hand to throw again. And Epley dumps it out here to Driver, complete of the 16. One man missed him, the next two got him, they're back up to the 30. Little Stacy Driver. Greg Waters in was the first guy that hit him, and then John Little are over. They dumped it out, and they got the 10 yards back, and this puts him up. Back up on the 30, where it's second down in 10 or 10 and a half. Little safety valve pass, and uh, he got he used his speed, Larry, to, to pick up those last five or six yards. At the half, the Goody scoreboard has Missouri 24, Mississippi State 23, and they have Arkansas 6, Tulsa 6 at the half. Clemson on her own 30. They're an inch or so inside the 30, and Epley dropping back the throw again. Looking over the middle, complete to a man catching it low on the 37. He threw a rifle shot down on the grass with the big tight end Dunn who laid down to catch a seven or eight yarder. And here's a big third down play now with 4.17 to go. Kenny Sims was a guy 
who immediately then came back to land on him, but he was on the ground. The ball's in the 37 and a half. Clemson is now third down and three. They have to go to the 40 and a half for a first down. And the stadium comes up rocking and rolling for the defense, wanting them to hold them. 359 to play, 358. Georgia leading 23 to 20. Clemson flip flops the tight end to one side. The dogs almost now on a six man front. And if we're going to come out and one man grab him, but he pitches the driver. Driver's got a first down to the 45 and out of bounds. Epley came to the corner, the dogs hit him right there, and then he pitched it immediately to little Stacy Driver, the tail, and Driver came up and got about seven yards on a first down and a 45. Andy Loy had to yank at him. Time out here, 30-second local break on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Reach for the star, you trust your car. Reach for the star, do the products with the star. Reach for the star, the big, bright, Texaco star. You know those knocks in your car? Well, it's time to knock them out with Texaco Super Unleaded Gasoline. It's got higher octane than regular unleaded to help knock out the knocks. Reach for the star, the big, bright Texaco star. Reach for the star. back to throw. First down in the 45. Over the middle, incomplete. He missed Flagler, the running back, down around the dog's 36. Threw it low behind him. Andy Loy, play before I mentioned he had a part of the tackle. He didn't. He came off limping. They helped him to the sideline. Larry, in this series for Clemson, they have now thrown the ball five out of the six plays. They have just uh, conceded, I guess, the fact that they're going to have trouble getting anything against that Georgia wow. line at this point. They've gone to the air. They and feel they can hurt them in the secondary. And despite a penalty, Phil, they moved from the 20 out to their 45, though they had a 10-yard penalty in there. Second down, Epley back to throw again. Epley firing to a man coming across, complete on a 43. We hit him right away, but they got a first down. Clemson coming down the field. Kevin Harris grabbed the receiver, Ray Williams, a flanker, and Epley has passed them back down the field where they're trying to take the ball game back. They're on the Georgia 43. They got 12 yards. The ball is just outside the Georgia 43. Boy, we had turnovers in this game, and they kept setting us up, and we finally got one of them. 23 to 20, 320 to go. You keep thinking about that little missed field goal from the 10. Slot right, one man wide left, one running back. Clemson trying to knock on the door. And Epley coming back again, looking a lot of time. And a long bomb, a long bomb, and it is incomplete. He overthrew him. Defensive backs were a step behind him. One right behind him, one on the left. We got a penalty. We got a discussion back in the 43. Butler, I think, was a primary receiver. Looks like the penalty may be against Georgia. That was after six straight completions in this series. That's the first incompletion. And now uh, mm. now they've still got the, the discussion going at the face mask at midfield. Maybe a face mask on the dogs, and that can really cost you. 30-second local timeout here on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Now, sports fans, an interview with that most famous bulldog, Ugga, the mascot. <coughs> Ugga, what's the biggest change in the lineup this year? <coughs> uh, biggest? Uh, why, Epson. The new right tackle? Uh, no, Joe. Epson computers and printers, they're popping up all over campus. But what does Epson have to do with winning? Simple. Epson's a world leader in computer products, and Epson runs any business software. The guys learn quickly and get their homework done fast and neat. More time for football. Well, more time for good times, huh? Check out Bulldog Tough, Epson at Pang Computers. Five yard penalty, first and five on the Georgia 39. And they drive up there with a the fullback for a first down. Flowers ran right up the gut to Poulos. Calvin Ruff had to knock him down from the side. And Clemson got six big yards, seven yards in the play and a first down on the Georgia 32. Georgia leading 23 to 20 with 256 in the clock running, but Clemson has come laboriously piece by piece back down the field. Dogs obviously dog tired on defense now. Clemson showed those same signs on our last drive. Clemson two running back shift to an eye. They flip flop the tight end. Clemson only 32 yards away from saving themselves right at the end. They led all day and then suddenly Epley back looking and he's going to throw a long bomb. Nobody there. Threw it along, intended for Williams. Black down there with him. He overshot him because we had pressure blowing up the middle on him. Shumley, the tackle, just came flying up in there and hit him a half a second late. And now it's 2.30 to go, and it's second down out on the 32. And yes, like Butler, they have 
if you're thinking about that, one of the better field goal kickers in America. And a very, very good long-range field goal kicker. In fact, last year they used him for the long ones and used Paulding for the short ones. But boy, they are really going to the air against Georgia here. Really throwing it. Dogs in a 4-3. Clemson second down, Epley back to throw. Clemson, Epley firing. Incomplete in the 23. Our man was up and had his hands on it, and the receiver was on his back, and it went incomplete. Now that now they're saying something to Dunn about it. Calvin Ruff went up in the air with both hands, and Dunn turned around and yanked him down. He had an interception on the 28 that would have won the whole day for you. It's third down. There was a little jawing after that one. Third and 10, 2.23 to go. Now the big play. 23 to 20, and the dogs trying to hang on and pull off a shocking, staggering upset. But Clemson's only 32 yards away from getting a win or tying it. And they're on the 32 right in front of the crossbars. Third down play, and the crowd is rocking and roaring with it. And Ipley with the left hand back to throw. Plenty of time looking. He's going to run. And now he throws in a run. It dropped on the 21. Big Dunn came across. He saw him breaking open as Ipley ran out on the left side. And Kenny Sims, a guard, chasing him. And it was right in Dunn's hands and then off his chest on the 21. Or big two way, and big way. 23 to 20. Igwe Bikwe from Nigeria will try to tie it up. A great kicker, and he sticks it up in there, and everybody looks at it, and the kick is good. And you're 23 to 23. Time out here, 60-second local break on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Introducing Star Power, the extra power you can get when Texaco Super Unleaded Gasoline helps knock out the knocks. Compared to regular unleaded fuel, it can help give you more car power. If your engine's knocking, you may need a boost. Give it Star Power, then turn it loose. Put a Texaco punch in the tank of your car. Kofer Brothers congratulates 16-year-old Jim Childs of Dunwoody. The Maris tennis star was selected as amateur athlete for the month of August by the Kofer Brothers Selection Committee. If you wish to nominate an amateur athlete for the September judging, stop by Kofer Brothers at 2300 Main Street in Tucker. Or call Jim Wilson at 938-3200. For a home imagination built, it's Kofer Brothers Building Supply. 48-yard field goal by Igwe Bigwe for Clemson, a uh, Nigerian kicker, tying it up at 23. Clemson completed six straight passes on that drive, and then they missed their last four attempts, had to go for the field goal, and Georgia again looking for the onside kick. Everybody up close except uh, for the one deep man, Harrell, is back there on the 10-yard line, so they are looking for Clemson to try the onside kick, Larry. We have five men across our 47, and another five men across the field spread on the 40. And the kick is long and powerful, and he's going to kick it where? Nine yards deep in the end zone and then down. Almost got it over the end line, which would have given us a ball in the 30. Now, 2.10 to go, and we're down on our own 20. I tell you what, these guys have really fought with all that no depth and everything else, and the way they stifled us in the first few minutes and jumped on us 10 to nothing, and then did it again late in the second quarter and went ahead by 14. And everybody in the press box, of course, had given up at the half because it was 20 to 6. Here we are with 80 yards to go. Dogs come up time. to the line. Big Keith Johnson over the ball. John Jackson's a tail. Clemson's in a 4-3. We got a slot to the right. Todd Williams going to fire it out here to lane. Complete. One man missed him, but he went down around a 23 or 4. Threw it a little lane over there. Got three or four yards. Tyrone Davis, that cornerback, really blew in. Goody scoreboards as Alabama's 24 to 14 on Southwestern Louisiana at the half. Michigan beat Wisconsin 20 to 14. Texas A&M defeated Iowa State 38-70. On the 24, we got four yards. Minute and 44 to go on a clock running. 23-23. Todd out to the left, going to throw it to the other back. Of Tron Jackson behind the line, complete. And Tron got knocked upside down, but he got a first down around the 31. 94 seconds to go. He dumped it out to another back coming out over on the left side. Danforth, the strong safety, came up in there. Boy, I tell you what, those seniors in that Clemson secondary are really something. Now the clock is running. They didn't get it out. Georgia's got a first down and a 31. We're in an eye. 
Man split right, man split left. We fake the draw. Look at and Archie. Todd is going to throw incomplete. Archie tried to reach low. He had a man right on his back up on the 45. Clock stop. And now, of course, you've only got 79 seconds. 23-23. Well, Georgia trying to, to take what Clemson will give them right now and also utilize the clock. And that time, Archie running that, that out pattern. Williams was looking for him all the way. He was the man that he wanted to hit as they're trying to throw the ball to the sidelines and stop the clock. The backs are Fulkwood, Smith, and Tron Jackson. Clemson's in the kind of a 4-2. And we run a draw. Little Tron scoots 5, 10 yards. Little Tron to the right to the 45. Get a block, 50, 45, and down in the 45. Little Tron came up the middle and veered to the right. And he got about... 24 yards and a first down on the 45. 70 seconds to go. Tyrone Davis, one of those senior cornerbacks, got him. The stadium rocks and swings, and the dogs are on Clemson's 45. And it's 23 to 23, 64, 63, 62 seconds. Georgia up to the line on the 45. Clemson's in a 4-3. And Todd Williams coming off to the left, looking, throws it to Lane, completing the 44. They hit him right away. He only got a yard, and they grabbed him high around the neck again. He only got a yard. 47 seconds. We've only got one timeout left. You Christian tells me 44 seconds. 42 seconds now. Only got a yard. We dumped it out on the flat to Lane, trying to make something happen. Second and nine. Look at the clock saying no, no, no. 33, 32 seconds, 23, 23. And Todd Williams fakes a draw, back to throw, and he's going to throw a long bomb. The receiver is not there. Now he's there, incomplete, with a man riding up on his shoulder pads right on the goal line. Todd struck deep. Freddie Lane down that side. And Larry Lane was not even near the ball at one point. Yeah. He then really put on the speed for the last 10 yards, and he caught up with that football and almost made the reception near the goal line. He is a, He was a an all-american sprinter in high school he's got great speed and boy he really went zoom for the last 10 yards and i think he surprised the defensive back but now we've got the clock stop 23 seconds third down so now it's maybe two downs to go well they needed to get a first down and try to get a little closer holy smokes tiny little army tied tennessee 24 to 20. Let's see what mental attitude does now Todd has called time, and the coaches didn't want him to do it. We have used up our last time out. 23 seconds. 30-second local time out here on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Stereo Village has the new Canon VC200A colored video camera, the super lightweight camera that weighs only 3 pounds, 5 ounces, and is loaded with features. 6X power zoom lens with macro focusing, and a built-in title generator with stopwatch function. Match the new Canon VC200A color video camera with a new Canon VR38 portable video recorder, and you have a winning combination from Canon. See it at Stereo Village, along with great accessories. Stereo Village, your total electronics department store with four convenient Atlanta locations. 23 seconds left to go in the ball game. Uh, Larry, there are all sorts of possibilities left. This game could end up like last year with yeah. two unbelievably long field goal attempts, or maybe one anyway. Yeah, That's we, uh, we uh, you know, we, we lost. We only had a timeout left, and I don't think they knew it out there. And now we can't go and try to dump a short pass and try to set up a field goal. We cannot stop the clock now at all. Third and nine with 23 seconds. We're on the Clemson 44. Very big third down here, and we cannot, you know, there's just no time. But do you realize we're in this thing? Todd running around to the right and looking. He goes for the sideline, and he threw it too high and out of bounds. Incomplete. Clock stop with 17 seconds. So we'll try to kick one 100,000 miles. Lauren. Larry, they had the field goal team ready to go on that play, regardless of what had happened. If they had run the ball, if they had uh, completed the pass, they knew the clock was not going to stop. But as it turned out, they have got plenty of time to get in and get settled. Now, they're just hoping that uh, Kevin Butler can really do what he's done so often in practice. Just <laughs> stick it up there 70 yards. Uh, he's got the win. If he gets it up high. We're holding it on our own 49 and a half. Going to try to kick it 60 yards, plus a foot and a half, and Butler kicked a long one, a long one. Oh, my God! Oh, my God!
He made it, and he made it with 20 to spare. Kevin Butler, 26 to 23, Georgia has a lead. And when Butler kicked the field goal, he knew he had made it. He took off running the other way. He was delirious. Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. Yes, uh, yeah, we got problems down here. Yeah. A flag on the field. That oh, means yeah. they're going to get uh, a 15-yard penalty on the kickoff. Yep. So they get good field position with 11 seconds. Yeah. All they need is one big completion, and that other guy can do that. That's right. That's right. The flags flew because everybody from the Georgia bench charged out there, including, I think, some civilians. Butler kicked it 60 yards plus a foot and a half. It's 26 to 23, and America held its breath, but now we're penalized. And we got to kick it off them way back down. The stadium is worse than bonkers. 11 seconds. I can't believe what he did. Uh, they're not going to have time for more than one play, it looks like, Larry. Well, they don't want to run it back either. Well. <laughs> what are they going to do, catch it and stand there? Well, <laughs> yeah, the clock, when they touch the ball, the clock's going to go. 26 to 23. They we got to kick off from our own 25-yard line. And John Little are over says, cheer, you guys. And Culpepper says, cheer. Now, that was Boswell, the second guy who turned around. I can't believe what Butler did. Georgia leading Clemson 26 to 23 with 11 seconds. This is ungodly. Jackson, the young fullback on defense, going back to be another safety gap man. And Butler kicks low, bouncing ball. Clemson catches it, drops it on the 19, picks it up on the 21. And now they turn and they throw a pass across the field. And he dropped it, but he caught it on a bounce. And they got a man down the sideline of the 50 to the 45. And we ran him out, and the game may have ended. We knocked him out on our 40. The game ended as we ran it out of bounds over in the Clemson bench. Clemson caught a bouncing kickoff, laddled across the field, dropped the ball, caught it on a bounce. There's arguing and shoving in the Clemson bench. They didn't think the clock should have stopped. We knocked him out around the 40-yard line or maybe the 35. Clemson thought they were going to get one second to tie it up with their own field goal. Well, there, there's all sorts of confusion over there. Yes, there is. Boy, the Clemson, the Clemson people still think the ball game is not over. And, uh, boy, the arguing is going on right now. And uh, Henry Williams just came out shaving the his fist. Yeah, the officials are over there. Now they're sending Georgia back to the to the sideline. So, I don't know. This oh, oh, they may give them the ball again. The clock ran out as they knocked him out of bounds. No, Georgia's got it. It's all over. The dogs have shocked Clemson 26 to 23. Danny Ford and Vince Dooley are right next to each other now, and we've uh, we've got all sorts of uh, wow. going on at the field, Larry. Put the field glasses on that, you guys. It's it's got to be pretty hot in the middle of all that. The dogs have shocked them with Kevin Butler and Clemson threw an across the field lateral, and even though they dropped that, they caught it on a bounce and they ran it about 30 yards, and we didn't knock them out until they're down around our 40 or 35. And the thing is, Larry, they had time to run out of bounds and stop the clock with two seconds, but the Clemson man decided to try to get a little bit greedy, and he just uh, ran the clock right off. Well, shocking what has happened, and I know the last play of the game will be, I guess, discussed, but you've got to realize what these kids did with our no depth. And, you know, we lost a tackle early in the game today. Uh, a guard Mac Burrows real early and we shifted people around and this this couldn't possibly have happened what happened it, do you realize that Kevin Butler's kicked eight field goals now in the first two games do you realize he missed a chip shot off the 10-yard line and he kicks the thing he was too close yards. he was too close Larry. <laughs> yeah I guess so well Georgia 26 Clemson 23 just this is going to just tear up the rankings and a few other things. And I wonder what the locker room show is going to be like now. I don't know how that happened. 20 to 6 and down. And how bad was the score going to be, we said, at the half. 14 down and gone. And then do you realize what happened? A lot of turnovers in this one. A lot of luck. Old lady luck grinned. Boy, did they grin. We have defeated Clemson. We had absolutely no business defeating Clemson.
and Butler really.